Good morning, everyone. Happy Memorial Day, except it's going to be a couple days after Memorial Day when I post this, but I am starting up the morning, uh, not too early. It's kind of late morning-ish. I think it's approaching 11 a.m., but I'm going to the gym for the first time in over three years. I'm a bit nervous. I kept on saying I'm not going to do it. I'm not, but I made a personal goal for myself that I will go to the gym once I'm at 264 so I weighed in this morning actually at 257.4 so I am going to start going to the gym slowly I think I'm only going to do once a week as a summer goal and try to you know increase and move my way up to more days but for now I just want to have a goal of going to the gym once a week and just doing some elliptical and some light strength training so not too much I'm not going to start running until next year so I really want to take things slow and turn on my exercise but I still want to try to get some exercise in just to feel a bit better you know move my body a bit more so I am planning for that I'm going to plan a fitness and yeah I'll document and tell everyone uh, or show you guys uh, how it is but like I said I'm a little nervous I have my baseball cap and I have like um this black thing underneath just to protect my hair um because from the sweat and the hat from rubbing it so I am wearing that and yeah let's let's see how it goes I am bringing out my old school water bottle that's what I used back in college I still have it but it fits perfectly in a machine so I don't want to bring this big boy here because I'm afraid it won't fit and I don't like uh, having to put it on the floor and it's hard for me to you know take some water so I'm gonna be using my Contigo it's an old one let me see if I can actually show it to you guys so this is the one I'm gonna bring I'm just gonna throw I'm gonna um, wash it a bit but I think it's 24 ounces yeah so it's 24 ounces and it should be perfect it's not you know too big that one's 32 and that one also is the has the steel um, I think steel covering or steel steel lining but this one's just a plastic one so I'm gonna give this a wash I saw I looked at it last night and I see no visible mold mold <laughs> um, but I'll still give it a wash just obviously because I haven't used it for a bit so let us go to the gym and unfortunately I do not have my sweatshirt I don't know I had this red sweatshirt I used to wear all the time and I can't find it so I'm gonna try to do a quick run through of my chaotic room to see if I can find it before I leave but if not I might just have to wear some random cardigan because I don't like you know I like having something on a bit just in case it's too cold bad lighting but I got these new Skechers sh workout shoes and these are just going to be used for the gym as well as walking they're not going to be my running shoes so this is the box so it's Skechers from um, Bob's Sport with memory foam and they're a size 10 because I have big feet of course um but I tried them on last night and I feel like they're okay and the only thing is I feel like they're a little bit too big because I need their life fit. But I'm going to see how they are and I'll let you guys know how they are. Um, this is going to be my first day wearing them. So maybe they need a break in but I'm going to try them. But just to show the box again. So let's see. They're the box board from Skechers and I got them on sale for about $42, $43. Good news. I found my go-to workout sweater. It's a large so it's a bit of a tight fit. But... I will make do. It's just like the Walmart dance skin brand. So I've been wearing this for years and you know, it can't zipper up at the time being, but it will. But for now it's fine. It's like May, so I don't need it zippered up. I just want something because it is a bit rainyish outside and a little colder than usual. Okay, I'm in my car. I just finished my workout at the gym. I got a decent sweat. <laughs> I used the elliptical for only 30 minutes um, and it was like level three. So very, very light exercise. I'm not trying to overwork myself, especially when this is my first day back in the gym. But it went really well. I did some light strength training on my arms. It's just I, it's been such a long time since I went to the gym I'm not used to the machines as I once was or once were um, 
grammar. So I was kind of uncertain on some of the machines. So I kind of went to the ones that were very blatant and obvious in terms of arm workouts because I didn't want to, you know, I'm very self-conscious at the gym. So I didn't want to do something that was, you know, a bit embarrassing. But yeah, I'm really happy I went. I'm hoping to do it for my summer. I'm going to have another video about summer goals and everything and it's coming out next week. But I'm hoping to go to the gym at least once a week. If I can do twice, that'll be great. And like I said, I'm not going to be running or anything. It's just going to be a elliptical workout just to keep on increasing my cardio and physique. And hopefully next spring I can start my C2 10K program. But until then, I just want to do some um, cardio at the gym and some light strength training so I'm very happy I went today I'm really happy to be back at the gym I felt great and yeah I'm hope I'm hoping to maybe go back again this Friday who knows all right I am back from the gym and I just went to the grocery store real quick so I don't have to go the rest of the week because the gym is close by the grocery store I go to so it's just a quick grocery haul that I'll show it's not really anything at all like five products I'm not going to take out too many items, but you can see I bought some bread, I bought some eggs, I bought some frozen cauliflower, that's there, a can of the generic Rotel, so the diced tomatoes and green chilies. I also picked up some shaved steak because it was on sale. I'm going to make that at the end of next month, so probably end of June, so I just made some yesterday. Uh, I got some Yasso bars. I, I don't know if I had Yasso bars before. They're just, you know, Greek yoga bars, 100 calories per bar. So I got cookies and cream. It was $3.99, so it's like a dollar a bar, which, you know, make of it as you will. But ingredients don't look too bad. And, yeah, I mean, it has some added sugar in it, but it's all right. So I picked those up, just one box of them, just to see how they are. So that's it eggs some restock stuff and uh yasso bars and i'll do a taste test whenever i have them have them all right it is a new day i just got back from my walk so i am a bit sweaty let me turn on the other light for there we go brighter so i just wanted to quickly show what i usually have as a snack after dinner i always love my post dinner snacks as a little dessert treat so uh, I don't have the same snack every day. It alternates. Sometimes I have fruit, sometimes I have yogurt, uh, sometimes I have ice cream, so the NYX ice cream or Halo Top. But I want to show what I'm having tonight as a post-dinner treat. So tonight I am going to have some baking chips. Either I love the chocolate chips because they're really easy to manage. Like uh, I think 14 grams is only 55 or 50 calories for those of here. So I actually went to a new Walmart the other day and I saw Bake Believe, which is not at my closest Walmart. So I tried it the other day and I don't know, I feel like I like Lily's a bit better. If you look at the ingredients for each of them, the first ingredient for Lily's is unsweetened cocoa. And I know this is the semi-sweet, but even with their white chocolate chips, it's um, unsweetened cocoa as well. Okay, you guys, I made a mistake. Lily's white chocolate chips has erythritol as well as its first ingredient. My mistake, carry on. I still think Lily's white chocolate chip is better because it tastes more like white chocolate. This one, on the other hand, is erythritol and then cocoa butter. Um, so this one has more of a erythritol aftertaste which I am not a fan of, but I am not gonna throw it away. But next time I'm gonna just get the Lily's white chocolate chips as I usually do, because yeah, the ingredients are slightly different and you can see erythritol is a third in terms of the ingredients for Lily's. So if you just want more like actual chocolate tasting, Stevia sweet and chocolate chips, I recommend Lily's over Bake Believe, but I am going to have the Bake Believe white chocolate chips tonight, and I'm also going to have half of a Cleo bar, which is pretty good. It's only 70 calories for half, so I usually weigh it out and then just split it, and this is going to be 25 grams. So that is my dinner. <laughs> I like that is my snack, and yeah, it's pretty tasty. And I really enjoy having like a post dinner treat. I think it's nice. I always try to have calories saved 
uh, for post dinner treat because I really just like having a post dinner treat. So that is my uh, calories uh, for the dinner and uh, I keep on saying dinner for my snack. And I believe it's about a hundred or so calories. I don't know. So yeah, that is it. I'm gonna end off this vlog. I will see you guys next week when I post my summer goals and how my weigh-in was for May. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.